It's coming right behind us, right here, right here, right there. You see it? Right behind there six. There oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, there it is. This week, we're in search of a white shark that has one of the worst injuries I've ever seen. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put my sunglasses on. It's really bright. Hey guys, we are headed out to try to find some white sharks. The expectation is always that you won't see a shark, but I like to be surprised. With me today is Aton. You guys saw him on an episode last year. He's our captain today. What's up, buddy? What's up? Let's go find some sharks. <laughs> and you guys know Phil, Dr. Phil Stearns. Our mission today is to find a specific white shark, one that I filmed last week that um, got a severe injury. And what we want to do is document the healing process of this shark. This injury is significant, and it may actually be the first time that an injury on a shark has been documented in real time. Like we are able to see the shark get struck by a boat. Uh, you're able to see the shark's reaction right after. You're able to see the shark's injury immediately after the strike. So what we want to do is find the shark today, get some underwater footage of it, drone footage of it, get up close to it, analyze the severity of the injury, and document its healing process. So hopefully we can do that. And uh, here we go. Let's get this adventure started. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> it is bouncy out here. <laughs> All right, so we got this thing right here, this 24 foot pole cam. That's what we're gonna use to image this uh, shark if we can find it, but I'm just setting things up right now. We haven't seen any sharks yet. Keep your eyes peeled. Next, we have to set up the drone. And my boy Aton here is on shark watch. I'm looking. <laughs> for the fins. Yeah. Oh, I thought I saw something there. Yeah. Did you see that? Uh, At one o'clock, just a brief yeah. dark spot yeah. came up behind that kelp. Yeah. You just keep looking there. Try to launch and find a shark. Takeoff permitted. Here we go. Watch that pulling antenna there. Always got to be a, aware of your surroundings. Going up. Home point updated. We are clear. Let's find us a shark. Yes. This is what we're here for today. <clears throat> so. Yeah, out here. They definitely have to be out here somewhere. Hopefully the visibility is good. It'll be good enough to, if there is a shark, we would uh, be able to film it on the surface. I don't know, Doesn't I don't see anything here. I'm gonna fly south or north first and then come back to us. Here, the drone, I'm gonna go that way first. Right. See if we can find a shark over there to get our cameras wet. It's amazing, you can fly 46 miles an hour here. We're flying 47 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna cover some ground here. Oh, we got some dolphins, you guys. Oh, we do? Out near shore to the, right over here, just right there. I mean, the water is very clear. These dolphins are in super clear water. Um, it's nice to see a dolphin because it gives me an idea of the water clarity. So these dolphins went down about, I don't know, eight feet, and you could still see them wow. from the air. So that's not bad viz. It gives me an idea about the sharks. Um, oh, no, I see them, yes. Oh, they're there? Okay, good. All right, just make sure that I don't fly to the wrong boat when it's time to land, because that could be a disaster. Yeah, no. All right, they're there. The dolphins are there. I'm not seeing any sharks. No sharks at all. The good thing about dolphins, sometimes they'll scare the sharks out yeah. and up out of the water column. So it would not surprise me if sharks started to show up. The, the the fact that we're seeing dolphins is a good thing. Yes. There's life. Yep. 
We're not in some barren zone right now. Yeah, no dead zone. No dead I, zone. I, I, dolphins are a very, very good sign. I would I what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on these dolphins and they go because they're going north. north. So if we stay on the dolphins, they could very well scare up a sh the sharks from down in the water column. So nothing yet. There we go. <laughs> That's two batteries. No sharks yet. Um, Let's uh, keep launching. I mean, that's uh, all we can do is keep searching. Finding sharks at the surface is not always easy, but persistence often pays off. Finally, a shark appeared. Okay, so we found a shark. Just like I thought, they're, they're down deep, and this shark is coming up. Um, let me try to get us a, the coordinates here because there it is. There it is. I got it. So um, let me find the drone just a second. Yeah, it's going to be here somewhere. I'll find us. Let me find us real quick. They are down low, but yeah, we're going straight at it. 12 o'clock. I gotta put my sunglasses on to be able to see. Um, it's gonna be right here. Okay, it's under the drone. Is that the surface? It's right here. Shark's right here. Boy, that visibility's bad. It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Right next to us. It's gonna be right here. It's right, right next to us. Right now, right here. You can't see it at all. Oh, okay. Wow. Yep, can't see it. Here. Yep. That's incredible. It's behind us. Turned it. It's right behind us. It's going right at our boat. It's coming right behind us. Right here. Right here. Right there. You see it? Right behind right six. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. There it is. We'll find it. Yeah, that was a nice size one. That is a nice shark. It came right up to the surface and checked us yeah, out. Checking us out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get a shot of this shark and ID it. Okay. It's coming up, it's coming back up. You see, it's coming right back up. She's moving good. Oh, I just Right there. Oh yeah, there it is. She's down deep. Yep. Oh, careful, we're good, we're good. Okay, so let's, um, maybe, I gotta land the drone. Okay. Because I only have 30%. But it's so exciting, we got a shark, man. Okay, let's get this down. Gosh, it's great being out here. It's amazing. You cannot beat this. Here we go, three, two, one. As we continued our day, we photographed more sharks during the search for the injured one. Something I am doing in Southern California is compiling a database of the various white sharks I see. I plan to submit the data compilation to the California White Shark Project to cross-reference. Because there is no way to currently know how many of these young sharks are reaching adulthood, if we have photos of them young, using AI to quickly identify shark fins, there is a chance in the future that we could one day see these sharks as adults up north or maybe even in Mexico. I just know the visibility on these things. So I'm a little mad right now. We just had a shark breach right in front of the boat and I wasn't rolling on any of the cameras. Oh, this happens. My gosh, I had just stopped recording. Just stopped recording on the drone. And we, I just shut those down because we hadn't seen the shark in a while. <laughs> and then it breaches it was, it was, right in front of us. That's the second time I've done that. 
Oh my gosh, that just drives me nuts. That was such a beautiful shot. <sighs> but it's picking up. That experience though. of seeing that breach right yeah, in front yeah, of us that's, that's, did that's insane. That's that that was just cool. As we were ending our day, we found one more shark. It was the most interesting one of the day. One I've never seen before, at least not in this state. Notice the white mark on its face. While the white mark usually means an injury, this shark was not the one we came looking for, but it did have a visible injury on its face. So we put our cameras to work to log this shark in our database. I don't often get a chance to view a shark injury up close. So even though this shark isn't the one we were looking for, we did get a close-up view of the injury. Eventually. As I've said countless times on this channel, white sharks are extremely resilient. But they don't always cooperate with the camera. This shark kept turning the injury away from us. We got the underwater footage of the dorsal fin and the tail, but she was being shy about showing us her scar. It made me wonder if the shark did this intentionally. She's a big girl, dog. She's big. She's big. She goes. That's the shot. She's going right across, right across. That's the shot. Oh, come on. Turn this way. It's hard to say what caused it, but it shows that whatever made contact with this shark has exposed its gills. There's no telling what caused this, but this shark should be fine. Alright, time to head back. We uh, got some wind coming in, so we got to head back. But it was a pretty good day, right? Great day. <laughs> Saw, I don't know, what, six sharks today? Six sharks today. Yeah, the one with the gash was um, interesting because uh, I think that gash, when we look at the footage, I think it's from a bite from another shark. Yeah. You never know, but speaking of gashes, we did not find the injured shark we set out to find today. Maybe tomorrow, going to be back out here again. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can determine what the healing rate is of that shark in one week. We've got to find it. But overall, it's been an awesome day. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to do it again soon.